now in her first interview since young Dolph's murder is his longtime partner and mother to his two children Mia J Mia we just want to start off with our condolences we are, are so sorry for your loss and and really appreciate you talking with us tonight thank you thank you for your condolences condolences for your thoughts appreciate you inviting me here we so appreciate you talking with us and, and I want to start off by uh, sharing with our viewers a, a portion of your Instagram post from Christmas in it we see uh, you and your two boys and you say for every man considering to take another man's life think of the holes you will tear in the heart of their family think of the hole that will be torn in your family's heart if you were the victim premature death hurts deep Rob's family of their future. As a woman and as a mother, how have you been able to, to navigate these past few weeks? You know, it's been extremely difficult. Um, just having to pick up, you know, the pieces and to find the strength for my children, most importantly, you know, to me, because that is the one thing that ate off in myself that we just, we felt we had a, a duty to them, you know, to really protect them, to raise them, to just do so much for them and together, you know, and now that he's no longer here, it's just very tough for me to be strong for them um, and also be strong for myself because he, you know, Adolf, that was my soulmate. And when I say they stole my future, it's like, you know, it, it, took, it, it, take, it has taken a long time to iron out the kinks, being with a celebrity, someone who's very busy, that's on the road a lot, and family kind of, you know, can take a, a back seat. But he finally, you know, made the sacrifices and was present. And we were doing things like, you know, planning our our, our wedding, you know, um, having a surprise wedding to celebrate with our family and our friends. And after being with him almost a decade and getting to that point where we can cement our love um, celebrate our love story with the people that we love most, our children, that's been taken from me. And to, to find strength in it all is very, very difficult for me. And we can understand why. And the public, of course, knew him as young Dolph. But, but as you just said, he was, he was your life partner, your soulmate. Uh, what was Adolph the man like that you knew, uh, the man behind closed doors that, that you know, despite that, that public image that you, who you knew privately? He was a very charismatic, compassionate, um, kind-hearted soul. He was gentle. He was a great, awesome father. I mean, um, <laughs> like, an older lady asked me once, like, if your son turned out to be the fitting image of his father, would you be proud? Would you, would you be happy? And I immediately, without even thinking twice, said yes. You know, because despite what, you know, his music may say like the person that he is the person that that i met the person that i fell in love with um it was just a very solid moral person and just months before young dolph was killed you started a campaign called black men deserve to grow old which you created it in honor of your brother the mission is to support families who have lost their husbands and fathers due to violent crime have you been able to find support within the same community that you created in order to help you get through this time you know honestly i have um i give honor to god in this because you know, I had no idea that, you know, me putting this campaign together to help my brother's family and the other families that have been affected by such, you know, uh, violent crime, I didn't know that I was also preparing for my own, like my own journey. And I have received an outpour of support from, you know, fans to different celebrities to, I mean, just everyone has been very supportive, sending the kindest note to my team to relate to me, um, just being very supportive. Um, and I just appreciate it so much because it's that, that community support that I know that I need to just keep me uplifted. From your perspective, what can be done in order to stop this cycle of violence, especially in the black community? I think one thing that we really need to, to do more of, I'm not going to say it's not being done, but mental health health in the black community is something that we must address um so many people are walking around traumatized they are have bottled up anger they have bottled up emotion that they have nowhere to to she, they don't have anything to do with it um and they make rash decisions think also 
you know, restoring black family within our community. There are a lot of broken homes. There are a lot of uh, misconceptions as to the roles that the parents, moms and, and fathers that they play. And, you know, I think that there is the restoration of black families in the black community. And so, you know, even through Mommy Yo, how, how black men deserve kind of just was birthed, it's through Mommy Yo, the mom and CEO, which is a, a, a brand that I started to help to restore the black family, you know, doing things and, you know, cook meals, come together, pray together, do different things to cultivate family. Mommy CEO, certainly a lot of mothers out there can relate to that feeling that they are already in uh, that role and, and beyond. And, and lastly, I'm just curious if you have a favorite song of his, and if so, would you mind sharing what it is and why it's your favorite? Um, I actually have two, and um, they're both my favorite because I call them my song. I feel like, you know, he was speaking to me, he was speaking about me. And the first would be Forever. Um, it's Young Dolph Feature and T.I. And the second would be um, You Got It. It's Vito featuring Young Dolph. And so those are my favorite songs. Your songs. <laughs> my songs. All right. Mia J., uh, may you continue to find the strength for you and your family during this time and beyond. And, and we thank you so much for your time tonight. appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it.